Celebrity Autobiography is is an evening that you'll never forget where where performers read the actual excerpts from celebrity memoirs. Now this is material that was not written to be funny, no intentions to be funny, but when you get up on stage with a microphone and an audience and read these selections out loud, it's probably one of the funniest evenings you'll, you'll spend in the theater. Well, I once had the opportunity back in LA to, I had a theater space, and they said, anything that you want to do, just throw it up there and let's see what happens. And I invited a bunch of my friends to find some celebrity autobiography passages. This is an idea that I've always had, and I thought, what if you brought this literature onto a stage, put it in front of an audience, what would happen? And we did it, and without any expectations, and the reaction was so incredible, and we started to do it every week, and the audiences kept building, and then we kept finding bigger venues, and eventually it was a, a special on Bravo, and we were, we were excited to bring the project to New York. Just kept building and building, I and mean, just audiences really eat it up, which is really exciting. We have so much great material, and there's such incredible talent here, especially in New York, and we're really grateful that everyone really wants to participate in the show, and we try to present different passages to people to see if it would be a, a good fit and especially if it if it excites the performer then we know that, that it's going to be something special on stage. Gene had the idea and I was one of the actors who he got together on that very first time when we did it in Santa Monica in a club and it was it was fantastic because there was really nobody there that night when we first did it but the owner of the club loved the show so much he said you got to do it every week and so then we just started doing it and it became a sport of some sort for me where I would go to the library I mean every week I would go to the library and and just come out with piles of books and 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 just go through them and and go to used bookstores it was so exciting but I remember when I was a little girl I actually read autobiographies and biographies out loud in my bedroom and and pretended there was an audience and and it, it it occurred to me much later that I did that and so I was so grateful that Jean came up with the idea so that we could continue like this. I find Danny so much sexier than let's say Robert Redford. Redford has his appeal but he isn't one of my two major types. The brainy Jewish neurotic and the ethnic neighborhood street type. <laughs> <laughs> my husband Rob was so my type, it was scary. Like so many Jewish guys whose mothers did a great job of raising them, Rob is not only in touch with his feminine side, he's also wise enough to celebrate it. For instance, he's a fantastic cook. But I soon realized Rob was clearly less experienced sexually than I was. I opted not to freak out, but to speak out. <laughs> well, we've had uh, Matthew Broderick, uh, Molly Shannon, Karen Ziemba. Uh, we've had uh, other members of the cast of Saturday Night Live, like Kristen Wiig, Jason Sudeikis, Rachel Dratch. Kristen Johnston. Some of my favorites are uh, the Neil Sedaka piece where he's discussing all the food, but my, I think my, my, one of my main favorites is the two finales that we do, which is Elizabeth Taylor, Debbie Reynolds, and Eddie Fisher, and we incorporate all three of their autobiographies, and it's, it's, it's a play. And we also do the same with Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson, and Burt Reynolds' secretary also wrote a book. Everybody wrote a book, so it's, it's it's amazing because we get all this this information and we get a Rashomon effect where we get all different points of view, he said, she said, and um, it, it turns into great theater. <laughs> At midnight, the eve of the new year, he kissed me. And that night he made love to me for the first time. He was sweet and tentative and gentle. <laughs> Almost as though he thought I was going to break. <laughs> During the non-stop animal passion. <laughs> Both of us, I fear, 